Welcome to the wind tunnel in Weissach. As we already know, Porsche opened the aeroacoustic wind tunnel in the development center in Weissach to simulate extreme conditions and to test every new sports car and its rear wing. Today, we will look at five wild spoiler and rear wings presented by Norbert Singer, former race director. Here we have one of the most advanced wind tunnels currently available, with a diameter of 8 meters and a blower output of 9,000 horsepower. Number 5 This is a Cayman GT4, built for the road but designed for racing. It boasts a mid-engine concept with sophisticated aerodynamics and a fixed rear wing supported by a rear spoiler, all of which produce plenty of downforce. Number four. Rarely has a rear wing been so perfectly integrated into a car's overall aesthetic as in the 959. It was based upon the 911, but faster and more powerful. Number three. Here, we have an icon, a 2.7-liter 911 Carrera RS. The 911 Carrera RS 2.7 was introduced in 1972 at the Paris Motor Show. And its trademark was this rear spoiler known as the ducktail. It kick-started something of a revolution back then, the discovery of downforce for road cars. Number two. Here, we have a Panamera Turbo. It has a V8 engine that delivers 550 horsepower. One of its great features is active aerodynamics. The spoiler deploys at 130 kilometers per hour, providing excellent balance at maximum speed. This generates an additional boost and lets the driver feel every single one of the Panamera's 550 horsepower at the same time. Practical and performs well. Number one, saving the best for last. Here we have the Moby Dick. It's based on the 911, even though it isn't instantly recognizable. Its outer shape is dictated by aerodynamics. It hit 366 kilometers per hour at Le Mans, so it was already pretty quick. The wing was extremely lightweight. It was made of fiberglass. Carbon fiber was still a long way off. It was nicknamed Moby Dick because it was very wide and was originally painted white, hence the name Moby Dick, the White Whale. 